Hi Taurus and welcome to your bi-weekly love read. This is going to be for the second half of May. Uh, let's dive in. I'm going to do this one a little bit different than my weeklies. Um, I know a lot of you, uh, some of you follow my weeklies, some of you follow my bi-weeklies, and some of you follow both. So with that being said, uh, this is going to be a different spread than my regular uh, weeklies here. So I'm going to focus on you and the other person, but then the connection, all right, in itself. And then uh, as it see fits, we'll probably take this to an extended so let's dive in and see what's going on for Taurus guys second half of May already I mean whoo gosh crazy time flies all right <laughs> I hope you guys are doing great and I'm thrilled to do that you're here so let's dive in for you we'll start with you uh, and then uh, let's go ahead with the other person and um, the, the connection in itself, whether you're single connected or uh, maybe have uh, your eye on someone, you know, or, or yet to meet someone. Uh, so this is going to be right smack in the middle. All right. So there we go here. And what do we got? Two, three. I'm going to go get one more. Four. All right. There we go. Okay. So what do we have at the bottom of the deck? Nice. Taurus, you're being so strong. This is about calling on your inner strength here. Beautiful energy. This is being strong and uh, Leo energy. Some of you got Leo within your chart as well. But I like this. It's an eight card, which is saying is that you're creating change in your life. And it's also by, you know, handling, you know, doing things with inner strength. Okay. So it could be that in a connection or in a situation, this is having courage, bravery, confidence. But it's also having compassion, right? Really compassion and just that inner power. Um, you are confident in drawing in lovers, okay? This is about strong, caring relationship is what you're looking for. And what you give out comes back to you type thing. So this is about your resilience uh, will help you and your fearlessness is really going to help you um, where you're going to have no issues in actually speaking your mind in the connection. Um, and not in an egotistical way, but just getting your feelings across. Um, it also means that you're a very patient individual that is probably most likely to accomplish anything that you put your mind to. And, and this is what I'm getting. Now, what's under this is um, getting some sort of balance, all right? Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. And the Fours are about stability, and the Pentacles is about your stability and security. So you're really focusing in on your private life, your psychological foundation, subconscious patterns, um, your roots, your home life, you know, getting all of that into balance and having the inner strength to make it happen. So I like this, guys, for you. Let's dive in, and we're going to find out a little bit about you. So I'm going to focus in on how you view yourself right now. And I feel that you're taking some sort of time out, but you're so, and this is having the courage, right? You've got like, like a family of bears watching over you. And this is saying that you're protected. Um, this is about bringing in balance to re-energize yourself. So I feel that you're re-energizing yourself in a, in, in a situation. You're getting that balance, having that inner strength. But a lot of that is getting, making sure that you get enough sleep. Uh, and making sure that you're focusing in on, uh, you know, getting your rest, I think is going to be the biggest thing. Make sure that you're getting the rest that you need, um, you know, in terms of uh, your love life uh, or just your life overall. Because this is, you know, relaxation, self-protection as, as you see fit. Now, you could be uh, withdrawing from your love life or maybe taking some time out or just kind of taking a break. So some of you, this could be the case. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is what's coming through. Uh, give me more uh, what is coming out for you here on the um, what it is on how you view yourself right now. Um, what do we get? Seven of Wands. See, this is creating healthy boundaries around yourself. And then again, here we go with the Strength card. Um, you know, when we got the Strength card coming out, you got that Leo energy of having inner strength and creating healthier boundaries around you, that fire energy. You shine and you have no problem, like I said, attracting and lovers with your light. But this is about you want a healthy relationship that is compassionate and um, you are able to express your feelings, you know, and be strong in the process. So you've got a lot of courage, but you are setting your boundaries and having faith in a house of partnerships. So I like this here. Um, anything else that's coming out for you on how you do yourself right now? Uh, what do we get? 
come together. Like you're becoming really whole within yourself, your heart and how you speak. Um, it's becoming whole. It's almost like you've gone into the darkness to now be able to express yourself better. That blue is the throat chakra and the green is the heart chakra. So it's all coming together. It's all coming together within you. All right. Uh, beautiful. And then you are using your creativity in whatever it is that you do. So in your love life or in your work or even both, this is about using creative solutions or uh, creative problem solving and uh, you know even in a terms of a connection or situation all right uh, anything else on how you view yourself that's coming through what do we get girl maybe you're talking with friends uh, I get girl I get girl talk so this could be just uh, moving on maybe that you're living in the moment you're having fun um, you're focusing in on your single life right now um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, she's looking for, what does it say here? Yeah, she's on the phone. It says like, hello there. <laughs> hello there. Um, but it's, it's so cute because it's like you're, you're spending time with friends and you're really focusing in on loving you. You know, she's got heart on her little, um, you know, uh, slippers and, uh, it's just, and, and, and she's got a, uh, a shirt that says yes on it. Uh, so there's a lot of living in the moment and just having fun. And I just love this yummy energy because this is so attractive. Now, I want to focus in on how you view your person right now. And I do get lovers. You have a lot of love for them. You feel Gemini energy. It's about coming together. Um, you know, the lovers card is a versatile energy. Maybe you're making decisions and choices in terms of love. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's being versatile as much as you can, you know, within a, within a situation or within your love life. It could also be that you're balanced out your, your love, your love with you and another person. There's a supportive relationship and, 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 and again, making choices about love. Okay. So start making up your mind. Um, what I'm getting here is like how you view your person. It's about making up their mind. Um, being true to themselves so they can be genuine and authentic with you too uh, and the people that are around them. So you feel that this person is like coming together, you're talking, right? And it is about making some decisions, right? So that's what I'm getting on how you view the, your person. Let's take a look at anything else. King of Swords could be done with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, okay? Now, the King of Swords, you know, he's, well, I want to say that this is like a masculine energy, uh, but it's also really focusing in on being within the mind, uh, being very intellectual. This person has got very high standards in love. Uh, they can control their emotions, uh, but there, it's also about them not being so rigid. Uh, and uh, being able and not jumping into conclusions. So do you see this person as, as that? They're, they they, they, they uh, focus in on not jumping um, into something that they take their time. Uh, it, it is that they focus in on reasoning. Uh, they see the they have to look at the bigger picture. They focus on being very disciplined with integrity. They've got a sense of strictness about them and high standards. So I don't know. This is the person that I get like, and it could be like how you view this person that this person is in their head. Yeah, you might see this person just in, in being an intellectual, um, you know, as well. Maybe not so much one that expresses emotions, but I do get lovers coming through. So this is two people kind of, you know, this is two people coming together and that is blessed. Um, let's take a look at anything else that may want to shine through. What else do we get on how you view your other person? Um, what would we get? Making a wish. Wow. Maybe you're making a wish for this person at this moment uh, with the daffodils, you know, like those, you blow them and you, 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 you know, you, uh, you, you make a wish and then you blow, uh, blow that so the seeds can kind of go out and, and so that's about making a wish. So it could be that um, maybe that you feel that your other person is, um, you know, focusing in on what it is that they want. And this is about follow through. How you view this other person is you want to see them follow through right? And you're making a wish. It could be, that could be the case. Uh, give me anything more on how you view your person. What do we get? What do we get? Ooh, how you view your person. It's about new beginnings. You feel that this person has maybe um, gone through a change and some sort of growth and they let something go. And it is all about a new beginning with some sort of liberation you feel that this, your person is going through some sort of transition at this moment, all right? Um, anything else on how you view your person? What do we get? Yeah, that there could have been some, uh, a little bit of, of chaos within the connection or in their life. 
And what they're doing is detoxing and purging uh, that, that chaos that they once had. And so you feel that they're going through a transition and leaving the chaos behind, all right? And they're moving towards warm, positive vibes, uh, summer vibes. This is really beautiful. Now, what it is that you, uh, how, how, how it's, it's kind of like how you view the relationship. How you view the relationship is you've got some sort of clarity. You've been crowned with some sort of victory with clarity. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So the Ace of Swords is all about that. I think that you've got some sort of... Um, uh, you, you, you have the power to actually have the victory over some sort of clarity within the connection. I want to pull another card on like on how you build a relationship. You've got clear. The clouds are moving away and there's clarity. And then the Hierophant, this is you, Taurus energy. So this is you planning your life out. What's going to bring you peace to your life? And uh, this could be uh, maybe getting guidance from someone or you're guiding others. This is someone that's connected with spirit against the obstacles between the mountains there. So I feel that this is an opportunity that through difficulties, it's about balancing out what's good for you. Balancing out, um, you know, what your morals, your values and beliefs and you're kind of, you're, you're visualizing what that looks like and now you're getting the clarity. I think you've got some sort of clarity in this connection. Give me more. What else do we get on, on how you see the relationship? What do I get? Guide. Maybe that you are being the guide in the connection. Uh, you know, maybe that uh, you're seeking guidance. Maybe that you are, you guide others, um, you know, in terms of uh, life's, uh, life's uh, issues and, and that type of thing or maybe you're being a guide in the connection and then what do i get yeah you're being a guide of a value of, of understanding one's value your your value and another person's uh, just really understanding what that is like the beliefs and expectations um in a connection anything else on how you view the relationship forgiveness a sense of forgiveness is coming through this is a 15 car reducing to a six it's about making self-improvement, making improvement uh, in, 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 in life, and then up applying forgiveness here. How you view the relationship, any more info? Um, yeah, there is something that you might be doing creative, creatively that's inspiring you. This connection is inspiring you. Um, you feel that you're lovers as well as friends, or maybe that's a friend turning into a lover, um, or a lover turning into a friend, whatever the case, you've got a very close bond uh, together is what I get. Um, so let's take a look at how this other person on how they view themselves transition. Isn't that funny? You called it even over here. Um, transition taking place, will of fortune, lucky, a change of direction, expansion as well. So they're going through some sort of expansion right now within their life. Ooh, very beautiful. Uh, anything else? What do we get? Yeah, they're becoming a lot more grounded and even grounded in their communication. This change that they're going through puts them on solid ground. So they feel a lot more grounded uh, is what I'm getting. Uh, anything else on how they view themselves? Let's take a look. What do we get? King of Pentacles. Uh, this is being controlled and disciplined. Uh, this is really focusing in, this could be a business owner, okay, as well. So this could be, uh, that could be coming through, uh, you know, too. But this person is um, very much in charge. I mean, if you need something done, this person, you know, they are really good at working with others and being able to get things done through others is what I get. So that, again, it could be some sort of business owner. But what I get, this is like a, a very prosperous provider. So, um, you know, this is a, a serious relationship. Usually when I see this, this person is about emotionally and financially secure. So this is how they view themselves. All right. Um, anything else that wants to shine through on how this person uh, views themselves? Let's just take a look. What do we get? What do we get? Um, this could be someone that is being changed and, 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 uh, maybe that, uh, no, this is person that enabled this, their boundaries. Interesting, you're mirroring each other because this is a, a girl with a snake is about a transformation. Um, it is understanding the uh, paradigm between, I don't know, like, you know, there could be someone in the connection that is a little bit more controlling and the other person that is a little bit more of an empath or, I don't know, there's some sort of paradigm here, but it's about um, creating healthy boundaries is what this person is doing at this moment. And perhaps you can feel that within the connection. Now, how this person, um, uh, how they view you is I get the eight of cups. 
Now, the Eight of Cups is about some sort of change. Um, this is about maybe that they feel that you've been disappointed in the connection, that maybe perhaps that uh, someone's escaped, maybe you escaped or someone's walked away. The Eight is, is that you, maybe that they see you as wanting to see change in the emotions, in the connection, or in the situation. That's how they view you. Anything else? Uh, Ten of Pentacles. They view you as wanting a solid, strong partnership to build a legacy. They know you want partnership. This is what I'm getting. The Ten of Pentacles, guys. I mean, really, this is that you want a lasting relationship. You're not looking for something that is really quick or anything of the sort. Um, it's really focusing in on uh, being, you know, wanting to build a legacy, to have some sort of union, you know, coming together. Um, but that's what I'm getting. They see you as wanting a serious relationship, a financially stable couple. Okay. That's what you're looking for in a connection and a relationship that is family approved, right? Or, or is maybe a relationship that reaches another milestone in the connection. It's a 10. So they feel that that's what you're, you're it's a, you're, that you're about family and you want to cultivate, you know, like deep bonds that you want to, um, uh, create memories, you know, that type of thing is what I'm getting. Anything else on how they view you? What do I get? Wow. Dreams. I get that you're focusing on achieving your dreams that you want in your life. Um, wow. And then what else? Uh, dreams of coming together, unity coming together. Ooh, wow. Um, anything else that comes through on how they view you? Um, in, in let's just take a look how they view you. Um, wow, they feel that you're one in a million. They feel that you're one in a million. Special love. This is gorgeous, guys. <laughs> wow. How they view the connection is they're getting some sort of spiritual enlightenment right now. I get the hangman. So this is actually gaining some sort of spiritual enlightenment in the situation. Um, going through a, um, they're gaining some sort of new perspective in this connection is what I got. So it could be that, um, yeah, I feel that they're gaining some sort of um, uh, different perspective in the situation. And I think that, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. They're seeing something new by your connection with each other, okay? And so, yeah, that's what I'm getting, guys. And it could be that um, they gained a spiritual enlightenment. Um, give me more. Give me more on how they view the connection. And they have lots of options. They view the connection as there's lots of options here. There's lots of choices. Um, and it's the seven of cups. Sevens are about having faith. You know, again, it's house of partnerships as well. But this is um, getting rid of the illusion and fantasy and then being uh, spiritually guided. Okay. Being spiritually guided. So that's what I get. I feel that they are, um, they've got options, but they're getting rid of the, the, the veil of the illusion and fantasy. And now they're getting some sort of new spirit, spiritual perspective. They got a new insight. Give me another card on this, how they view the relationship. There's new insight about this. And it's about balancing things out, being generous, balancing things out, uh, chair, you know, um, giving and receiving also experiencing growth. They feel that you're, they experience growth with you. Okay. Um, anything else on how they view the relationship? What do we get? Oh, that they, they feel that they've gone through some sort of cycle. They're moving on from an old cycle, like a karmic connection. And now they're, they feel that it's, they're moving into now it's becoming sweet music. What was very difficult and tough during a situation, maybe with you and them, they've moved on from, and now they're focusing in on harmony, okay? And that's how they view the relationship and wishes coming true. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful, guys. Now let's take a look at the connection in itself. The connection in itself, like the key strength in the connection, I feel is the king of wands, a lot of attraction, all right? Having a vision, a vision and being able to transform energies to create that new vision, all right? So the two of you coming together is... You create a vision together is what I get, all right? The king is all about a very creative man. Uh, or this could be, you know, a great, a creative, a creative, you know, uh, uh, you know, powerful, um, creative uh, uh, chemistry, okay? And it could be that uh, this is about leadership. you seeing the bigger picture in the connection. You allow each other to see the bigger picture in the connection. And it's about, you know, 
the int knowing the intuition knows its way. Okay, and fully embracing, um, you know, your strengths, your weaknesses, and the connection, and then being able to make a huge difference in the world. So perhaps you're coming together to make a difference in this world. Now the next card that I get that we need to focus in on is, um, you know, what's the weak point in the connection? What do we get? Weak point in the connection. What do we get here? The moon card. Things are hidden. You know, there are Pisces energy. So there could be things that are hidden, you know, in the connection. Um, it could be, uh, you know, having to tap in, just like I mentioned with the King of Wands, having to use your intuition. This is tapping into the intuition, um, especially in obstacles, balancing things out and then using your intuition and, and, and being able to do that. The moon is that, that, that Pisces energy. Um, it, it, it reminds you in the connection to follow your own instincts, okay? This is what I'm getting. Now, what I get in terms of what it is where the relationship seems to be heading, I get very intuitive. Isn't this so interesting? This is a spiritual connection too, guys. I will tell you, highly spiritual in terms of, um, you know, intuitive uh, abilities. Um, this is, you know, being able to uh, express emotions, uh, or, or, you know, express feelings, um, you know, it, it harbors secrets in the unconscious, um, but I do get this is tapping into your intuition and it's so strong all the way through here. Okay. And, and, you know, any sort of advice in this connection is, is, is let something fall. So something new can come around. So I get rebirth that this connection has experienced some sort of rebirth rising like the Phoenix from something that maybe, you know, like I mentioned, um, you know, maybe that there was some sort of obstacle, but I do get rising like the Phoenix. When I get this card of death, it's all about transformation. It is scorpionic energy and it's intense, but it's a major transformation that is taking place that allows illumination and allows you to rise. Uh, so this is really powerful, guys. I'm going to take this to an extent because there's a rebirth here in this connection. So we're going to find out what this rebirth involves, um, what it is that they haven't told you, what they want most, and then, of course, um, what their next steps are in timing surrounding that. Uh, we'll find out also how they feel about you. We'll find out how you, you feel about them, uh, what you want most, what you haven't told them, and what you hope the next steps to be. We'll do a potential outcome with Oracle Advice. So if you're interested in wanting to take that deep dive, guys, click the link in the description box below and send you so much love and light. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.